What's up guys, I'm Fire Alarm 9200 and this is System Test 43. As you can see, I got a new panel. And it is the Silent Night 5820XL. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a look. So I'm still using the old batteries from the NFW50. As you can see, um, it's 5820XL. It's a lot bigger panel than the NFW50. And here's the safe watch, um, just sitting here right now. Well, it's active, but the thing is, I don't have this connected to the fire system yet. I was a little updated. I got this 5800 TM for it, um, so I could use, well, so the um, 5828V could have, you know, dis um, display on it since it's just blank and numb for most of the videos that you've seen it. Um, I just found out after this thing came in the mail and I got it all mounted up and connected to the system that it does not support the 5828V. So, but I will save this for like the Vista Tennessee um, whenever I get a bi-directional keypad for it. So anyway, onto the system. Over here, um, this is definitely something different. Um, as you can see right here, this is a Potter CSH12224. Um, this is the mass notification model. The, um, the fire model is the SH1224. The CSH is for, um, you know, general signaling or you know, mass notification. As you can see, this has got the alert, um, lettering, and it's got blue lens. I got two of these, and I sold the other one to SafeMan4202, so you may or may not see that in one of his system tests, um, here soon some more stuff here. As you can see, I still got the BG-10 here, um, BG-10L, hooked up to a monitor module. Um, so yeah, that's sitting there. Over here, I got the Siemens SLP-70 SES, um, MCS. Now, only the strobe is hooked up to this, so yeah, I did not have, I don't have voice back on here. I did have it on when I had the 9600 up, um, for a while, but I never had a chance to make a video of it. I really wanted to. It was a um, really neat setup, which I did get a little, a short little clip of it. Um, if you go back to my old videos, you'll probably see it. But, um, yeah, eventually I'll get voice evacuation back up. But the speaker on this never worked. Okay, just the strobe, so that's why it's up. Over here, I've got a Gentex Commander 4. Now, however, I might send this back because the seller was actually supposed to send me a horn strobe, and they're like, well, it looks like a horn strobe. Well, it's actually not. Um, though it's got the horn strobe grill or front cover, it's, a it's actually just a strobe. Um, I found that interesting, but um, yeah, this thing is hornless. So hopefully soon I'll get the, um, the horn strobe models very soon. The model of this is um, GSS, while the um, this, the corn strobe model is the GCC. Now, over here I got the same, uh, this. I was gonna change this out for the 4251, but I honestly didn't have time for that right now. I've got the AES up here. Yep, um, I don't know when the last time I showed this was. Um, I remember I did show this a few videos back of the um, on the SafeWatch Pro 3000. Anyway, we're getting four minutes. I'm taking too long. And as you can see, I've got an enunciator. I've never um, out of all of the panels I've owned, I've never had an enunciator for it. So the the 5820XL is the first control panel I've owned that actually came with an enunciator. Over here, I got a Gentex Commander One remote strobe. As you can 
Jesus. And an SD 500 PS, which right now I just have a conventional pull station. I'm like, well, why didn't you hook it up as an adjustable pull station? Well, I got lazy. So, anyway, also huge shout out to Safeman4202 because he's the one that did most of the work. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is already five minutes long. I, I can't believe you guys are actually sitting around this long for me to make a stupid video. Okay. We're going to start off. The AES is obviously doing continuous while the um, CSH is doing Code 3 Broadband. I think that's what it's called. So here we go. Well, that's not good. Apparently a little issue I'm already coming up with on this panel, which I'm not sure how long I'm gonna have it up, really. I mean, it's a cool panel, but this trouble is bugging the crap out of me. It's where sometimes, it's not, like what happens is sometimes the AC power cuts itself off. And I have no idea why the frick it does that. But in order to fix that, I have to kill the AC power for a few, for, for maybe 10 seconds. I guess while we're doing that, I'll activate another pull station. Yep, so. Um, yep, let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and reset that really quick. And I do have a smoke detector sitting right here, but I just haven't mounted it up just yet. Now why that happened? I did not reset the pull station. Stupid me. I'm probably the only YouTuber that's ever failed to reset the pull station twice. <sighs> oh boy. I was like, what is it now? I was like, oh, it's a BG-10. As you can see. So let's hope that if I turn the AC power back on, it turns. Yep. So that's pretty much all I need to do when that happens. So now, last but not least, the SD500PS. and reset that. And I'm just gonna leave that in 
there. And Yep, that's it. And also, if any of you are wondering where the NFW 50 is, it's in this box waiting to be, um, because hopefully soon I'll be going to Home Depot and I'll grab a, a new board for this and we'll have a new mini system. And there will be an enunciator for this too. I already have one. So, and you'll see that very soon. I've actually had it for a long time, so. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about once you see the video. Also, don't ask for this panel because there's no way I'm giving it away. So anyway, here's System Test 43. Um, at least I think it's 43 with the 5820XL. And there's more um, videos to come with this panel in the future.